Chicago holds the record. It has hosted far more political conventions than any other city in the country, 11 Democratic and 14 Republican. We've had conventions since the 1860 convention that nominated Abraham Lincoln. The 1996 Democratic convention was the most recent one hosted by Chicago. The whole point of the 96 convention was to uh, redeem the city's stained reputation from the 68 disaster. A disaster captured by TV cameras for the whole world to see. Outside the convention, protesters were beaten by Chicago police in what turned into a riot when Mayor Richard J. Daley enforced a curfew in the parks. Secondly, he tried to control the floor of the convention as he had done in previous conventions and that backfired. Political parties stayed away from Chicago for 28 years until President Bill Clinton chose the city for his second presidential nomination. Longtime City Hall reporter Bill Cameron says the choice was a reward for Mayor Richard M. Daley and his brother Bill, who helped Clinton get elected in 1992. Bill Daley in particular had helped Clinton get NAFTA through Congress, which was real heavy lifting. Cameron covered the convention and will never forget one moment that had nothing to do with politics. Uh, but I remember Al Gore on the podium uh, taking his wife Tipper into his arms, dipping backwards and planting a big sloppy kiss on her. Cameron also recalls a stiff Al Gore and convention delegates breaking out into the Macarena. Overall, the 96th convention was considered a huge success. It didn't hurt that 1996 protesters were kept about a mile away in a designated area. Modern day political conventions have very little drama. They're all well scripted and tend to be pep rallies for each political party. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.